What's up guys, Toby here, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're back in Regent's Park, and I'll be showing you around an impeccably designed classic townhouse. Now this home features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and has 4,439 square feet of living space. This home's currently on the market for 14 million 500,000 pounds. For more information on this home, check the description down below. Just before we get into this tour, I'd like to thank the developer, Cam and Kian Babayi of the K10 Group for partnering with us to present to you this phenomenal home. Now, let's get into it. Chester Terrace is one of the most unique streets in the whole of London, in my opinion. You have Regent's Park right opposite you. You have a total of 10 primary schools, two universities. The cinema room is an absolutely perfect place for your friends to come over, watch a movie, relax and chill. Mm. The kitchen has stunning book matched marble, as well as the ceiling heights throughout the home is just fantastic. Okay guys, we're going to start the tour off here on the exterior of this home. Now we have this gorgeous white stucco fronted property elevating four storeys. You have two entrances, one through the main door and as we make our way down, we have a gated entrance here which leads to the lower ground. Now a bit of history on Chester Terrace. It's one of the neoclassical terraces in Regent's Park and it's owned by the Crown Estate dating back to the 16th century. Now Chester Terrace is the longest row of terraced homes in Regent's Park and it was designed by John Nash, the mastermind behind Buckingham Palace. Now John Nash originally created these homes for Prince Regent who later became King George IV. Now you know the history on the home, let's head inside and check out the property. Okay guys, here we are inside the home. Now we're first greeted with the entryway. You have these gorgeous book matched marble floors in a dark brown and white finish which runs all throughout the space. Now through these double doors, the hallway continues and we can't miss the amazing ceiling height in here. You have your original cornicing details which flows all around the ceiling and then just behind me we have your staircase which takes you to all four floors. Now we're going to head into this room, the dining area, if you follow me through. We have seating for eight at this table, beautiful contemporary interior design all throughout and then just behind me we have your first two large windows which overlooks the front of the home. Now as the dining area flows we have your fireplace here which has been beautifully finished and the dining area leads us into the kitchen and I mean this has to be one of my favourite kitchens we've ever toured on this channel. You have your book match marble floors and then we can't miss this island natural stone countertop. We have a full sink and then just behind me in this light grey finished cabinetry we have your fridge and freezer. We open up tons of space in here to store your food and then below that if we pull out we have the freezer great space now the kitchen flows down where we have your wolf stove and then a cool feature is your pop-up vents push of a button your vent easily pops up now down here we have your breakfast nook now what a space, I love these because it allows you to have your simple foods while still keeping the dining area for those intimate times. Now as we make our way around, through here we have your built-in Gaganel ovens, two ovens here. And then the kitchen isn't finished yet, as just through here we have your pull-out spice drawer. What an incredible kitchen. Now follow me through the dining area as we head back into the hallway. As if you're not too keen on taking the stairs, this property also has its own lift. I mean, how convenient is that? Making our way down through this door, we have the wardrobe where your guests can store their shoes and jackets. And as we come down through here, we have the first guest WC. Let's step inside, layered in marble, we have a floating vanity unit, textured wallpaper and then a window overlooking the back of the property. And that 
is the first floor. Follow me downstairs where we'll check out the entertainment space. Okay guys, here we are on the lower ground. Now we're greeted once again with your exquisite marble floors. On the walls we have a polished plaster and then here we have your colourful art piece complemented with these wall sconces. Now as we make our way down, we're led into this open wine cellar, a completely bespoke design. We have storage for about 66 of your finest bottles. Now just behind me, we have a staff quarters or what could be a home studio and it has its own entrance which we saw from the front of the home. Now we're not finished just yet in here. As if you follow me through here, we have the home theater, chevron flooring in here, and I mean, what a space. You have seating for about 10 in here. And just behind me, a detail I have to point out is your suede paneling, which just adds that luxurious touch to the space. Now just behind me, we have your hardwood built-in shelving, which is complemented with your built-in TV unit. There's also comfort cooling, which runs all throughout this home, and of course, your built-in speaker system. And that's the home theater. Follow me as we step back out, as we're not finished just yet. Through here, we have your garage with enough space to store a classic Porsche or even a Lamborghini. And as we make our way down, we have another guest WC in here with the same gray marble finishes and a floating vanity. And that's the lower ground floor. Now follow me up two levels where we're gonna see the incredible open plan living room. Okay guys, here we are on the first floor. Now I wanna to touch on this feature staircase, finished in your brass and dark hardwood and impeccable design. And it leads us into the formal living room. Now what a space. We have a contemporary interior design all throughout. We have three floor to ceiling windows overlooking Regent's Park, and it's complemented with this luxurious drapery. Now we can't miss the ceiling height in here, cornicing details once again, and these incredible chandeliers that just illuminates the space. Now here we have your fireplace, which has been beautifully restored, and it leads us into the informal living area and a beautiful design once again. This is where you're gonna just hang out, relax, watch TV, and enjoy some time to yourself. Just behind me, we have a large floor to ceiling, east facing window overlooking the back of the property. And then here we have your built in shelving unit, oversized, and then your TV unit to finish off this space. Now I'm not finished just yet in here, as there's one detail that I have to point out and show you. A very convenient touch is your control for or home automation system. Now this allows you to control the comfort cooling, the lighting, the intercom, and even the security. A great addition to the home. And that is the living area. Now follow me upstairs where we'll check out the primary bedroom suite. Okay guys, here we are on the second floor which hosts the primary bedroom suites. Follow me just through here. We're led into the primary bedroom suite. And I mean, where do we start? We have your king size bed in here and it's complemented with this incredible chandelier, two bedside tables. And then just behind me, we have three large windows which overlooks Regent's Park. It's complemented with your luxurious drapery. And there's also this woven wallpaper design. Now, just in front of me, we have your first set of built-in wardrobes in a lacquer and suede finish. Let's take a look inside. Automatic LED lights and then tons of space in here to store your clothes. Now, here we have a built-in shelving unit with your ornaments nicely arranged. Now, if this wasn't enough storage for you, follow me just through here where this sliding door takes us into another walkthrough wardrobe. We have the same suede paneling and then additional space to store clothes. I mean, mind blowing. Now, just through here, we're led into the ensuite bathroom. A gorgeous design. You have your marble finishes all throughout, a huge freestanding bathtub, and then this large window overlooking the back of the property. 
just in front of me, we have your double vanity unit in this rose gold finish on the hardware, which I love. Large mirror and then two wall sconces to finish off this side. Now on the opposite side, we have your walk-in shower. And I mean, what a space. Book match marble just behind me, a huge rainfall shower head, and then your recessed soapbox. What an ensuite bathroom. And that's the primary bedroom suite. Now follow me upstairs where we'll check out the other bedroom suites. Here we are on the third floor. Follow me through to the second bedroom. We have your fitted carpets in this space, queen size bed. There's also two bedside tables. Just behind me, we have your seating area. Now a fantastic space. What I love about this is that I can imagine waking up in the morning and then sitting here grabbing an espresso from the minibar and then arranging my busy day ahead. Now the tour continues. We have two large windows overlooking Regent's Park. And then just here, we have built-in storage section, suede paneling. We also have your built-in TV unit just above. Behind me, we have your built-in wardrobes. Let's take a look inside. Automatic LED lights and then that fantastic hardwood finish. Now through here, we have the ensuite bathroom layered in that gorgeous marble. We have a double vanity unit here and then it's complemented with your walk-in shower. And I mean, take a look at this space, book matched marble and then this huge stainless steel rainfall shower head. Now the K10 group did not miss an inch in this home. And that is the second bedroom. Follow me back out into the hallway. We will see the additional bedroom suites. Stepping through to the third bedroom these are your guest rooms we have fitted carpets in here queen size bed we have an east facing window there's also your textured wallpaper design and then built-in wardrobes to finish off this room stepping out through here we have your fourth bedroom queen size bed great interior design we have another window just behind me and then built-in wardrobes let's take a look through here fantastic finishes once again now, as we step out, we're led into the final bathroom. We have this exquisite marble all throughout, a huge soaking tub, rainfall shower head, and then your floating vanity. Now, this floor isn't finished as if we step out, we have this staircase, which leads up to a roof terrace. Now it's decked and you have panoramic views overlooking Regent's Park and the rest of the city. And that's Chester Terrace. This is the most incredible grade one listed home we've had the pleasure of touring on this channel. We have an unforgettable reception room, well thought out bedroom suites and impeccable finishes all throughout. Thanks once again to K10 Group. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them down below. If you wanna see more, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.